Hey guys, Mike Henry, Master Plumber uh, and Ream National Technical Trainer here. Let's talk about a few misconceptions about heat pump water heaters. So we're here with the Ream Proterra Hybrid Electric Heat Pump Water Heater. Uh, it's an electric water heater with a heat pump attached to it. And for us plumbers, we know what an electric water heater is, but maybe we're not real sure about what this heat pump stuff is. So let's kind of go through a couple, couple things real quick. Again, basically from here down, it's an electric water heater. The part that we're not familiar with or we're not comfortable with is the heat pump. So let's make it as plain and simple as we possibly can. I'm gonna turn this thing around so you can see what I'm talking about. It's an air conditioner, okay? Let's keep it that basic and simple. When there's a call for heat, when this water heater needs to heat up, it's gonna, a fan's gonna come on and start pulling air in from the surrounding room, okay? Just like any other air conditioner, it's gonna condition that air. What does that mean? It's going to remove some of the heat and make it cooler and drier. So on the other end of this thing, we're blowing out cool, dry air. Again, it's an air conditioner. Compressor, evaporator, uh, all, of, all of the components that would be in an air conditioner. What happens is when you take some of the heat from the air and you transfer it to that refrigerant, that refrigerant's gonna go to a vapor state. Once it's in a vapor state, the compressor can compress it, make that refrigerant hotter. That refrigerant is now a heat source that we didn't really spend a whole bunch of money to create. Okay, so we take that heat source, that heated refrigerant, and we uh, through that tube, that tube that's wrapped around this tank, that refrigerant heat is now gonna be absorbed by the water. So we're just moving heat that already exists. We moved it from the air to the refrigerant, and then from the refrigerant to the water, okay? Um, it's a safe system, the refrigerant's never gonna touch the water. The big conception we have, or the big problem we as plumbers have is, yeah, but, what happens if that refrigerant system fails? I'm not licensed to work on it. I don't know how to work on it. Uh, I, I, it's, it's not my trade. The good thing is you don't have to work on it. Uh, kind of the catchphrase we use is if refrigerant touches it, you don't have to, meaning the compressor, the tubing, uh, all of the components that refrigerant's traveling through. If any of that fails, the entire water heater gets replaced. We won't ask you to replace or, or repair any part of the refrigerant system. As a general rule, it's not gonna fail. But if it does, again, the entire water heater gets replaced. So that's probably one of the biggest misconceptions. So don't let that fool you, don't let that slow you down. Sell these, these things make hot water and they do it very, very efficiently. Very little money to, to basically do the same thing we were doing for the last 100 years.